Hey now, Chris here. Thursday, January 14th, it's about 11.30 in the morning. I am empty. Um, I took a load through the house that I dropped off in Santa Maria this morning, and then I made my way down here to Oxnard. I'm waiting to get loaded. I got about uh, three trucks in front of me. But this place is real quick, so I'm not that worried about it. I'm going to make a video of it here to show you. But this video is really uh, about a couple of subs sent me messages. One wanted to see more securement. And the other guy was asking for advice. And I'm just going to quickly go over uh, my thoughts on those two things. I don't get real detailed in my securement because there's dozens of ways to secure a load. Uh, the way that it needs to be done first and foremost is legally and secondly so you're comfortable with it. And that's the only thing I would say. Uh, I do always try to when I've got freight loaded close to each other and definitely everything on my top deck I'm going to put some kind of safety to keep it from moving forward and coming into the cab if I have to have a hard break and I'll put a safety on the back as well if I've got an overhang or uh, that very back of your trailer is the part of the trailer that moves more than any other part <clears throat> so it tends to shake rattle and roll up there so I'll normally put a safety to keep things from falling off the back. Um, and those are kind of my philosophies. So just do it. Make sure you do it legally. And make sure you do it so you're comfortable with it. If you're ever questioning how to secure things, you can always ask the shipper. And most of the time they'll tell you. Uh, unless you get someone that doesn't know. And if you're stumped, just take a minute, step back, get in your cab, have a drink of water, sandwich, smoke, whatever you do, and then go back and take a look at a second time. And a lot of times you'll, it'll come to you of how you want to get it done. We haul a lot of machines and used machines, and sometimes it can get tricky, but we, we carry a lot of different type of securement uh, on the truck. I'm not talking just about chains and binders and straps and ratchets, but also we have cable ties, uh, we have J-hooks, we have all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the company, this Kaiser prepares the trucks really, really well, outfits them really, really well. Okay, so that kind of covers the securement. The other reason I don't like to do the securement stuff, let me step back a minute, is it starts, the comment section starts going crazy. If I start detailing how I've secured something, <clears throat> a lot of the super truckers hop on here and they will tell you how they would do it and why the way you're doing it is wrong. Or And I'm just, I don't want to open it the channel up to that kind of nonsense so I try to give a brief overview of how I've secured things and I'll move on to the advice one of the subs wanted thinks I should make more videos about advice for drivers and I think as far as advice goes you if you're going to go over the road and you plan on being away from home four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, two months, three months, whatever you plan on doing or your company requires you to do, um, the driving the truck, the securing, all that kind of stuff is pretty simple. You'll get a lot of practice at it and you'll get good at it. Uh, the real challenge out here is just being mentally prepared. Uh, to be away from your loved ones and missing birthdays and anniversaries and, um, you know, not being 10 steps away from a toilet or a shower like you are when you're at home. 
so, you know, make sure you're mentally and emotionally equipped uh, to handle going over the road. You local guys or guys that are running regional or home every weekend, it, you really shouldn't struggle with it that much. And the second bit of advice I would give to you guys that are coming out here, this is for everybody, regional, over the road, whatever, is take care of your teeth. Brush your teeth. Try to do it twice a day. Uh, that'd be it. I know that seems like stupid advice, but guys get lazy out here and they don't take care of their personal hygiene and you definitely want your teeth. So that's it. That's the only advice I'm going to give. And the reason I don't get more into advice about... Well, you know what? Actually, I'll throw one more bit of advice out there. For guys that are just... They're going to get their training at a company. They just got their CDL. The ball's in your court. The training is only going to be as good as you make it. Um, you know... Ask a lot of questions. The worst thing you can do is act like you know what you're doing because you have too much pride. So ask questions. Make sure you're clear on your what your trainer's telling you. Um, and just make the best of it. We all started somewhere. And never be ashamed at taking the plunge no matter where you at. I, uh, I never badmouth these companies, Swift, Western Express, uh, you know, these companies that have a reputation or guys look down on them, these other super truckers look down on them because <clears throat> you got to start somewhere. And if that's all you can do, it's, if that's the place, if that's how you start, then that's how you start and just make the best of it. It's not going to be fun, but you'll get through it and hopefully you'll come out on the other side with enough knowledge that you can be on your own and get the job done and that's it for now so there's my securement and my advice video thanks for watching see you